Hi, today we're going to create a keepsake book made of felt and board. This is the one we'll make and I'll show you how. Join us. Hi, this is Tweek. I had written a poem about my first Christmas with my twin brother and I read it in one of our episodes and somebody asked me, how did you make that book that you were hanging on to? And I said, well, let me show you. It's a keepsake felt and board book. Let me show you how you start. Supplies for this project are some cardboard, some felt, some ribbon, a stencil of your choice with colored pencils to match, some decorative stick-ons, some ribbon, some scissors, some stick-on letters, and hot glue. You begin with your story or your poem or artwork would be a nice thing to put in a book too. I had a poem and I printed it out. And once I printed it out, I organized it in the way I wanted it to read and attached the papers together so it would be very much like a book that you'd turn and it's written on both sides. And then I decorated each page by using a stencil very simple stencil that I picked up at a craft store and it just peels on and off the paper without damaging it. So I had a very simple little pattern there with green leaves. I just used three colored pencils for this design. I filled in the leaves, put in the simple little stems that are in this design, and I took off the stencil and I repeated that on the bottom took a red pen and I just added berries just wherever I thought that I wanted to put one. I'm going for a holly berry look. Simple as that. And I'm going to repeat that process on the bottom of the page. I've got my pages decorated. And I've got them in order. From start to finish, I go through and make sure before I start binding them that they are in order, and they are. My story is ready. Now, I am not a bookbinder, and this was a prop that turned into a keepsake. But what I did was I had the pages as just as neat as I could make them, and I just went across the edge here like you might bind a book, just with my glue gun. I didn't really use the glue much. I just kind of let the glue sit. I just ran this over the pages. So I a little bit of patience here. Just very carefully and just slowly let the tip of the glue head just come along. And I'm just kind of rubbing it off and sticking them together keep tapping them down and trying to keep them even. Run over the top. Starting to feel smoother. Pages are binding together. Excellent. That's working out well. You just got to make sure you keep the pages as even as you can, as tight as you can. You can pull off the excess, but that's going to get buried in the binding anyways. That looks good. Let's see. And look at that. See how it opens? That's good. I'm going to let that sit for a moment to make sure it's all dry. Our next step in creating our keepsake book is to take some board and cover it with felt decorate a little bit with some ribbon and add a piece of cardstock on the inside. This one is done and let me show you how I did that. I took a piece of cardboard and I measured it to the size of the felt that I had and I'm going to pull in the felt on either side of this board. I'm going to try to even it out a little bit so there's a, an even gap. I do have a gap there but I'm going to take care of that gap with some ribbon. And I'm just simply going to glue this felt to the board. Once I have it how I think I want it, it looks even, top and bottom. And here comes the glue. I do a little at a time, and I pull a little bit on the felt 
it's a little bit stretchy, so I take advantage of that. And it makes for a neater cover. And the board can be any piece of cardboard. It came to this size and it works well with the 8 by 11 pages, so I am mad with it. I don't mind that the cardboard shows because it reminds me more of a book. Okay, there's the cover of my book. I will decorate that later in a moment. Right now I've got this gap to deal with and I came up with a simple solution. I got some ribbon. See how the ribbon will match? You could use a wider ribbon if you like. And I found this one to be the perfect size. So what I did was I put some glue in here. And I'm going to carefully lay my ribbon in there because now this will get hot. The ribbon does not offer any protection at all from the heat of the glue. Now that I've got that in there, I'm just going to wind it around. And I'm just going to meet these two up. Make sure it's not too tight in the front. We're partially done on the cover. Before I work on the cover title, I'm going to flip this back into the inside. I'm going to use a piece of cardstock to pretty up that inside just a little bit. Cardstock, paper. I'm just going to line it up. I'm just eyeballing it. This will be the inside of the cover. It's going to be very plain because the fancy comes on the front of the book. So I'm just holding it in place where I want it. Add in a little bit of glue as I go. There we go. We've got our inside done. Let's work on the book cover. For the book cover, I would like the title and I'd like some embellishment like I did on the original. What I came up with was a piece of felt. Again, I'm going with what I had kicking around was white, but to me this space is too big. So I'm going to fold it in half and do a little bit of strategic cutting to cut this back a little bit and make it a little more decorative. So I'm going to, I'm just making a few cuts. Kind of like when you'd make a snowflake. Let's see what happens here. Just go with it. It's going to be pretty or we'll redo it. Alright, so I've got my little space here. And next thing will be to attach the letters. If you were very brave, you could write them on there, but I'm not that brave. <laughs> So I'm going to, now that's all attached, I'm going to take some letters that I found again at the craft store. And these are stick-on, stick-on letters. So I'm looking for my first Christmas. And so I have some playroom here that I can attach these letters and to see how I'd like them to work on this space. And if you don't like it, if you want to reposition them, it's really easy to do because there's a little bit of stick them on there. So get them laid out. I want that moved over just a little bit. You're just eyeballing it. My. I couldn't find all the letters that I needed. They're a mixture of upper and lower case, so to me that just makes it more fun. But if it is my first Christmas, and it was, it, it, to me it looks a little more childlike as I fashion these letters in. Makes it a little more wonky. So I started out with a little bit of varnish to hold the letters down, then I kept adding a little more. So now they're affixed to the felt. They have a little bit of shine to them. And when they're completely dry, I'll go over them again with another bit of varnish just to ensure that they stay in place. So right now they're stuck down. I'm going to let them rest and I'm going to work on the binding part of our book. We've got the two boards. I'm going to put an edge on them and I'm going to insert the paper. What I'm going to do is take this piece of ribbon and cut it to the length of the two boards or the board and flip it around and glue it on each side. Let me show you. You could use any kind of ribbon. You can use a piece of felt. Whatever you've got kicking around that will augment the piece you're working on. I think this is going to look really pretty as a binder. I'm going to just glue it on one side and then glue it on the other. That leaves a little space between. 
That's where I'll attach the papers on the inside. And that acts like a nice little binder hinge. Let me see, make sure that I like what I see here. Looks even. Oh, that's gonna be nice. So, I'm not pulling it real tight. I just want it to be even. A little bit of play in between. That's where the binding's gonna go. We're gonna flip it open. You see how there's a gap here now between the fabrics and the two boards? And I found out that laying three pieces of pipe cleaner perfectly fill that gap and the pipe cleaner is really happy to accept the glue. That's fine. Which means putting down some glue. This is my way of binding the book. I'm just going to take these guys Line them up and lay them in. You want to be careful because this is hot. See how they kind of lined up and they're they're soft. See how it bumps that out just a little bit. They're staying in place. Next, add the pages. And what I did here was. I just kind of aim for the center of the pipe cleaners and I'm just going to lay a little bit of glue and hold this in place and I'm just going to let them sit for a minute. I'm just pushing them into that pipe cleaner and it adheres pretty fast. Got you in there. I'm just gently pushing the pages in. Wait for the glue to dry. Look for any places where you might have to help with a little bit of glue. I'm ready to embellish. And what I got was, in my original book, I used beads and things that I'd cut out of felt. And this one I'm going to use some little stickums, although I'm going to glue them on with a glue gun that I found at the craft store. And I'm just gonna play around and see how I like them to look. I've got candy canes, and I've got little candies that came in this little kit. So it doesn't really matter how I cut out earlier on the piece, but you never know. So let's see what we wanna do here. This is what we have to play with. It looks very festive, doesn't it? Okay, we've got those guys. That looks nice. And let's see. Do I want... That's pretty. Sparkly. Oh, that's kind of pretty. I'm thinking... Ooh, maybe like that. I, uh, I think we're done here with our decorations. So I nice to have some extras. And what I'm going to do here is lay another layer of varnish just so that everything stays in place. It's going to shine everything up a little bit that's on the felt. And I'm just going to keep the varnish to the inside here. So let me do that. finished. Here's the one I created today and here's the one I created before. One is mine, one is my twin brother's. Uh, maybe I'll keep the new one. If you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and leave us a comment. I hope you have a very happy holiday. See you again.